Hello and welcome to Only Connect. Now, I am a generally law-abiding person, but the other night I did find myself drunk and disorderly in public, so I turned myself in at the local police station. Luckily, it had been turned into a weather spoons, so I just carried on drinking. Joining me this evening are, on my right, Patrick Knowles, a physics graduate who accidentally shot a pheasant with a bow and arrow while holidaying in centre parks. Rohit Gupta, a software engineer who's fallen off a wild Croatian horse. And their captain, Jacob Warbrick, a maths graduate who once created a self-portrait using only Nutella. All passionate programmers, they are the debuggers. Jacob, you lost your first heat by one point after an incredible performance in the Missing Vowels round. Did you find that stressful or did you enjoy it? I think I just sort of got into a bit of a fugue state. I'm, I, I don't even remember doing it. <laughs> Well, good luck tonight, all three of you. This time you are facing, on my left, William Hewstone, a diplomat who fell over a nuclear reactor in Iran. Claire Downs, a surveyor whose second cousin was Daphne du Maurier's PA. And their captain, Jacob Kingsbury Downs, a doctoral student and musician who was told at a job interview that he was not the right candidate for the fish and chip industry all devoted disco lovers, they are the discotheques. Now, in your first heat, Jacob, you got that question about the long words. Remind me, what was that Welsh village? <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> Welcome back. The bad news, teams, is that tonight, three of you are going home. We'll find out how by playing a quiz. Discotheques, you won the toss and you've elected to go first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. We'll go for the Eye of Horus, please, Victoria. The Eye of Horus will be the first question of this decider. What do these clues have in common? Here's the first. OK, Moma. Moma, presumably, yes. Next, please. Next, please. Yeah, next, please. Royal Mile. Uh, Royal Mile. Curry Mile, Square Mile. Yeah. Yes, yeah. They're all miles. They are all <laughs> miles. Each of these places has a mile with this epithet. And, of course, there's more than one museum mile, Curry Mile and so on, but the famous ones are there. Have you ever stood on the Royal Mile trying to persuade people to come and see a fringe show? No. Anyone over there? I have, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was dressed as a nun. Dressed as a nun? And what was the show? What happened in it? It was called Bad Habits. <laughs> good, good, <laughs> lovely. I've stood there in the rain. Come and see this show, or don't. You don't have to. You probably wouldn't enjoy it. If I were you, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> I was very bad at it. <laughs> All miles, very well done. And it's your turn now, debuggers. What would you like? Uh, could we have water, please? Yes, you could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Just good. Good. This looks small. Yeah, yeah, so let's say next. Dress bag. Ah, so little black dress, little black bag, um, just uh, a little brown bag. No, I think we should go for that because it's dim. But what's dim the bags. connection then? Yeah, with the should black. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see another. One, one more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Little blue pill is something, isn't it? One more. Like yeah. Yeah. One more. Next, please. Look. Uh, are these all little black? Items. I'm afraid that is not the answer. So, Discotex, you've got the chance for a bonus point. Um, we're going to go slightly more general and just say they're little and a colour. They are little and different colours. Very unlucky, debuggers. You were right to spot the font is a bit smaller. That's an extra clue, little something. It's little black dress. I suppose you could say little black bag, but more commonly, what would you say? Little green bag. Little green bag is the well-known song. And what's the pill? <laughs> Little blue. Don't pretend you're not familiar with Viagra, the little blue pill. <laughs> and uh, little book, what do you think that is? Little black book red again. Book. Is that little little red book, book. Oh, Mao Zedong, that's, that's exactly good. right. All little colourful things, close but not quite right. So you get the bonus discotheques and you may choose your own question. We'll go for the Horned Viper, please. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Group with common purpose. Next, please. Oh, 
Um, but yeah, let's think some preferential cookie. Should we have another one? Yes. Yeah. Next, please. Team, uh, maybe they are. Yeah. Do you want to go for that? Yeah. Should we just go for the last one? Yeah. Next, please. Yeah. 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 Uh, all the answers are anagrams of each other. Yes, they are. What are the clues? Uh, so we've got group with a common purpose is a team, mm -hmm. tame for domesticating a wild beast, mm -hmm. and meat for a carnival's meal. Mm -hmm. Self-referential. Do you know? Mm. Oh, meta. Meta, meta. meta yes. is what that is. If something refers to itself, you can say it's meta in some way. I don't like shows that are constantly referring to themselves, making snide, sort of smart arsey jokes about themselves. Did you like that? I always find it very annoying. <laughs> Back to you, debuggers. What would you like? Uh, twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. So, M, 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 So it's X in Roman numerals, or...? Yeah, and M. Um, and yeah. next, please. I've no idea. No one. Um, next. Do we...? Oh, um... Yeah. Uh, are these things that can come after two, four, six, eight? Exactly so. 2468 Motorway, that's uh, from the Tom Robinson band. Obviously, 246810, simple maths. 2468 Meet Me at the Garden Gate, and the last one, a football chant. Do you know that? 2468 Meet Me at the Garden Gate? Yeah. An old rhyme. There's yeah. a version of it that goes, Don't make love at the garden gate, because love is blind, but the neighbours ain't. <laughs> Discotex, what would you like? Ooh, two reads, please, Victoria. Okay, the two reads. <sighs> These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Could be animals. Is it things that we refer to? What the other one? Mm-hmm. Should we get the next one? Yeah. Next, please. Some rocking a broad clip here. Groovy tag. Yes, groovy tag. Thank you. Yeah, should we go for it? Yeah. They all involve tags. That is absolutely right. We are looking at examples of tagging. Let's have a look at all the clues. You didn't even need them. But we've got a game of tag and then a bit of Facebook tagging. Here's the thing I don't understand. Do you know about the internet? A little. This is what, what this is the thing that I don't understand. People tag you in pictures that you're not in. Mm. And then you get messages about them from people you don't know. Terrifying. Well, or how? Why? <laughs> Why? Do you understand? Have you ever done that? Tagged someone in a picture that you that isn't really in the picture? Uh, probably no. is a joke, yeah. <laughs> just to wind them up, just to exactly. wind them up. Oh, no, I've just realised the downside of my explaining quite how annoying I find that. I don't mind it. <laughs> I actually don't mind it. It's fine. It's no problem to do that. All examples of tagging. Very good early buzzing. Back to you, debuggers, for the last question, the lion. It is the music question. You'll be hearing your clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Bless my heart. Bless my soul. Next, please. Next, Next. Are these all uh, associated with black? They are not. And I'm interested that you're guessing that for the second time this evening, which I quite like. Might as well guess it for anything that you don't know, because perhaps it will be one of them. Not this time. Discotex, do you know? Do the band or artist names all uh, share or, or all homophones with um, gym equipment? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you thinking of particularly? We thought it might be Tom Waits at Clue 2. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is Tom Waits. I, oh, really I see Tom what you mean. Connection. That is a good idea, <laughs> isn't it? Not this. No, we did hear from Tom Waits. Also, Alabama Shakes, oh. On Vogue and Wilson Phillips. All performing songs called Hold On. The titles were all the same. That means at the end of round one, the debuggers have one point. The discotheques have six. <laughs> 
Time for the sequences. What comes forth in a sequence? And Discotex will be going first again. So, which sequence would you like? We'll take the water, please. OK. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Norway. Uh, well, that doesn't quite make sense. It's across the Baltic. There would be a yeah. big jump, wouldn't it? Um, also, Should we go for the next one? Oh, next, yeah. please. Helsinki. Oslo. Helsinki. Where's Tallinn? Estonia over here. I'm assuming we should just go for, like, Stockholm. Try. Stockholm. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Debuggers, do you know? Um, is it Riga? That's not it either. What's your sequence? Is it um, capitals going to north? north, north and the northern, northern, the northern most capital. Yes, it is. It is capitals going north and the northernmost is Reykjavik. Oh. You're having one of those unfortunate evenings where the, the answers are just there. You're so close, but it's Reykjavik. Has anyone here ever been to Reykjavik? Yes, and I just want to apologise to Björk. <laughs> <laughs> for getting that wrong, not for anything I did. No, not for anything you did. Do you find it is eye-wateringly expensive? Oh, terribly, especially for alcohol, Victoria, which unfortunately is something that we rather like. Well, I, that wasn't a problem for me because I always take my own. But <laughs> a hotel, I mean, you check into quite a normal little room with a sort of single bed in it, and it's, just, that, it's insanely expensive. <laughs> no points there. Do you know a funny thing? I would have actually got that one right, which is almost never true of a geography question. And I realise it's the effect of lockdown. I did so much homeschooling. I've actually learned what is the world's northernmost capital city. And this is despite the fact that my daughter was only five during the lockdown and almost all the homeschooling was colouring. And geography was, you know, colouring this map and history was colouring this king and French was colouring this croissant. And I remember <laughs> colouring in, yes, I did it myself, Iceland uh, as part of the homeschooling and I would have known that it was Reykjavik. So I'm afraid no bonus point, though you were close. You may, however, choose your own question. What would you like? Uh, could it be the lion, please? Yes, you could. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, that's the youngest. Even Oz. Next, please. Oh, that, it's, they're all sisters of, oh. of, of, of two brothers, I think. So Harper is the sister to um, Romeo and... Is, so oh, is yeah. it a sister of one brother? Or? So a sister of one brother, yeah. But so I, uh, who would that be? Mm -hmm. Two seconds. Uh, one, my sister. And why would that be? Because I only have one sister and these are sisters to multiple numbers of brothers. There is only you and your sister. Yes. In that case, your sister is an acceptable answer. Thank you, Harry. Because what I need to hear is a woman who has one brother. So, yeah. Harper Beckham has three brothers. Princess Alice of the United Kingdom, do you know who that is? Possibly one no. of Victoria's no. children. Yes, she was the daughter of Queen Victoria, and there were four brothers, and uh, I think five girls altogether, so she would have had four of each. Clue two, Tracy Neville, do you know Tracy Neville? Is that Phil and Gary Neville's? I don't know if they have a sister. Uh, yes, Tracy Neville, uh, an England netball player, and she actually managed the England netball team that won gold at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. And uh, Phil Neville, I think, is actually her twin, and Gary Neville also her brother. So people with four brothers, three brothers, two brothers, we wanted to hear somebody with one brother. Most people would think of your sister, Jacob, but we <laughs> actually put Shirley MacLaine, who's the sister of... John MacLaine. Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty, Warren Beatty oh. is the brother of Shirley MacLaine. Well done, giving your sister as it. We should probably mention her. What's your sister's name? Uh, Harriet. Harriet. Hello, Harriet. <laughs> uh, well done for being a, a clue on Only Connect. Discotex, what would you like? We'll go for the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Is that a circle of hell? It looks like me on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Could well be. Next, please. Measuring a hem. Mm. So, hell, hem, here. Hem, here. Mm. Here for the next one? Mm -hmm. Next one, please. Yeah, that was right. So, a word was here. 
can think of any. If you wanna, um... I can't really think of any examples. Clearly geographic must be something. Just press. I can't think of an example, but it's a word that starts with H-E-O. I'm going to accept it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we were thinking of homophones, because we are looking at hell, hem, hen. We've got a ho. Uh. Just L-M-N-O. But if you spell them out, H-E-L, H-E-M, H-E-N, H-E-O would be next. Okay. I'm surprised none of you are mentioning a sibling, he-o, a nice little brother <laughs> that one of you often plays with, always up early on Christmas morning, little he-o. It it's... was one of my children, I just yeah, forgot their name. <laughs> Perfect. It's an acceptable answer. This is disintegrating. We've got people's family members' as clues. I mean, this is... We're all over the place. But you do get the point. Debuggers, what would you like? Uh, Horned Viper, please. OK, what will come forth in this sequence? And I'd be grateful if you'd give me the answer that I've got written down here. <laughs> Time starts now. Michael, um, could be Arcane yours. Could be, be Schumacher, could be anyone. Yeah. Next, please. Oh, so it's, oh, no, no, uh, it's, it's, it's Batman, Batman and the yeah, uh, Returns. So, so yeah. it'll be uh, Batman Forever was uh, Kilmer Forever. Uh, so it's Batman and Robin, so uh, um, George and Robin. Is that the fourth one? That's the fourth one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nominate Patrick. Um, is it George and Robin? Yes, it is. Very well done. Let's have a look at all the clues. Please talk me through the sequence. Uh, so, uh, Michael Keaton played Batman, and the, the film, the first film that he was in was just called Batman. Mm -hmm. um, he was in the second one, which is Batman Returns. Mm -hmm. uh, Val Kilmer was in Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin was George Clooney's um, infamous appearance. Uh, only appearance as Batman. Exactly so. We have replaced the word Batman with the name of the actor who played him in four successive films. And you're right, Batman and Robin is, is, is not held to be the best of the series. <laughs> in fact, there's an apocryphal story, and it's true, that uh, George Clooney thinks the film is so bad that if anyone ever tells him that they saw it at the cinema, he immediately refunds them personally, the ticket <laughs> price. Well done. Discotex, what would you like? Um, we will go for the two reads, please. The two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Alternative. Alternative facts. Alternative facts. <laughs> Next one, please. Alternative. Alter. Um, D. D. Uh, is D. Next one, please. De facto. De facto. Something. De facto. Factor. Factor. Something factory. Wasp. The Wasp, as in the Ian Banks novel. <laughs> is an acceptable answer. We went with Charlie and the Chocolate, uh, with a, a slightly cheerier factory. The sequence, of course, I think you know. Phrases followed by fact, add O for facto, add R for factor, add Y for factory. Well done. Debuggers, one question remains. The Twisted Facts. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Abbreviation type thing. I think it's something that was in the trend. Okay, that's good. Next, please. Mr. Russell Square. Oh, Russell Group would be nice as well. Oh, no, no, that would be nice. Next, please. Oh, um, so what's got a six sides? Because it's Lord Triangle, Russell Square, Percival. Yeah. So what's an example for a six? Are you sure it's. What would it be? Um, Two no. seconds. Uh, Eaton hexagon. Yeah. And why would that be? Um, so they're all what, uh, schools, and we think there's a, a law triangle, Russell Square, uh, Percival Pentagon. <laughs> Percival oh, Pentagon kind of breaks down. A that's bit brilliant. That's much cleverer than real answer. But <laughs> I'm afraid I can't give you the point. Discotex, would you like to have a go for a bonus? We'll try Eaton, for example, Cameron. Would be an acceptable answer. What is actually going on? So these, I think, are the schools that the most prime ministers have gone to, so mm -hmm. in, in ascending order, as it were, and, of course, Eaton, and uh, that was where James... James what's his name? David, David. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. It is schools that sent prime ministers out into the world, going up in number. So who were the prime ministers that went to the High School of Glasgow? Brown? 
Is that Andrew Burnall? No, one of them's there. Andrew Burnall is one, and the other one is Henry Campbell Bannerman. And then going up, six prime ministers went to Westminster, seven went to Harrow, and how many do you think went to Eton? Eleven. How many do you think? The rest. <laughs> Twenty. Wow. Twenty prime ministers from Eton. That means at the end of round two, the debuggers have six points, the discotheques have eleven. Time now for the hideous confusion of the connecting wall. And debuggers, you'll be going first this time. So would you like lion or water? Uh, water, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. OK, so Droopy is a dog, Tramp is a yeah. dog. Um, oh, Brin is from Brin. Spot is a dog. Patch is a dog. Uh, draw breath. Draw breath. Um, should, we, should we try with the dogs again? Is... So Droopy... Spot back. tramp, yeah. and, but we we had to fall. And we didn't have a uh, body bag. Uh, patch. Uh, brain drain. I, I could go replay draw and leg. They're all, yeah, uh, they're all like um, in the, the sporting terms yeah, of like. Yeah, they're knockout competition. Okay. Uh, so. Um, oh, Astro is a dog as well. I think. Okay. Spot. Yeah. So um, okay, so to cycle that with leaving out leaving um, out groupy, groupy. leaving out spot, leaving out patch, leaving out patch. This tram in tramp. Cut and catch. Catch fire. No, obviously. Um, We've got fire wall. Uh, clock. Stop clock. Um, yeah. um, I. Brain drain. Is ice spot no. Body snatcher, firefighter, uh, clock watcher. Try twig. Yeah, twig sound like a dog. Um, uh, rain, rain and broom. Um, fire, fire. Fire, fur as a tree. I'm not marked. Um, uh, fireproof. Black. Fireproof. Fireproof. Clock. No. Um. Um. Mark patch spot. Ten seconds. Yeah. A. Um. Oh, twig spot. A catch on. Oh, yeah. Um. Catch. Um. And clock. Clock. Yes. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, the time is up. The wall has frozen. But you found a group. And what is the connection? Leg draw aggregate replay. They're all terms from, like, knockout tournaments. Exactly so, usually in football, but general sports tournaments. And you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There we go. Patch, body, fire, clock. Oh, work. You can put work after all of them. Patchwork, bodywork, firework, clockwork. And the next group, mark, catch, twig, and so on. To sort of notice something, all synonyms for... That's exactly Which we it. did too late. You notice it <laughs> yeah. a bit late on. Mark, as in, you know, mark my words, yeah, yeah. mark me, young man, that sort of thing. And the last group, Droopy, Brain, Astro and Tramp. Oh, fictional... Fictional dogs, aren't they? Fictional yeah. dogs. Cartoon dogs. They are all cartoon dogs. Yes, Astro from the Jetsons. So, you only found one group, but you gave me all four connections. That's a total of five points. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. It'll be the lion wall for you, two and a half minutes, of course, starting now. OK, what can we see there? Uh, bay is a horse, bay, sage... Basil. Or, yep, mint. But bay as well. Bay so, window, yeah. box window as so, well. Should we try... Uh, no basil. Yeah. No mint. There we go. Okay. 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 Garfield was a cat. President Garfield. Um, James Joyce, James um, Cameron. Uh, yeah. James Garfield is an actor. James May. You've got yes. troop, clique, crew. These are groups of people. Indeed. So what That's would the good. last one be? Uh, a guild. Okay. So should I go for the James? James. Is... Yeah. Okay, definitely. James, yeah. So now You've got three lives now. Plenty so of time. We think it's guild, troop, clique, and crew, which would mean box, ballet, we and mint. Mm. Royal box, royal ballet, royal. We royal mint. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. You solved the wall. I mean, we could have given you another wall to complete in that time. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Quick wall work. Let's talk through the connections. What about the first group? Bay, basil, dill sage. They're all herbs. They're all aromatic herbs. And the next group, Garfield and so on. 
famous Jameses. Yes, they are. Please tell me who each James is. So we all know James Joyce, the wonderful writer. Mm -hmm. James Cameron, who uh, directed the Titanic and, and Avatar, I think. Mm -hmm. James May, who, well, I don't know, was previously on Top Gear. Um, James Garfield, not sure. It's US president, president, I think. US president. Those are all Jameses. And the next group starting, Box. They are all royal somethings. Exactly so. Royal Box, Royal Wee, Royal Ballet, Royal Mint. And the last group, Guild Clique Troop Crew. They're all uh, words for group. So different Synonyms kinds. for each other, they're all groups. Very well done. You got all the groups, all the cliques, guilds, troops, all the connections. <laughs> and the bonus, that's a maximum of ten points. Let's have a look at the scores as we go into the final round. The debuggers have 11 points, the discotheques have 21. But I remember in your first heat you were 10 points behind here and you came back to one point behind. You were a second away from a tie break. Hold on to your hats and fingers on buzzers if you can do both at once. I can tell you that the first group of missing vowels clues are all novels published in 1934. Discotex. Mary Poppins. Correct. Discotex. Tender is the night. Correct. Discotex. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Well done. Always tricky when they start with vowels too late. It's I, Claudius. Next category, people and the cats they're associated with. Discotex. Hermione Granger and Crookshanks. Yes, it is. Discotex. Dr. Evil and Mr. Bigglesworth. Yes, it is. <laughs> Discotex. Calvin and Hobbes. Of course. Discotex. Anton Deck and Cat Dealey. Very well done. <laughs> Next category, they all fold. Debuggers. Deck chairs. There we go. Discotex. Poker players. Not often enough. Debuggers. Filing businesses. <sighs> I'm afraid not, Discotex, do you know? It's failing businesses. Next clue. And that's it. It's the end of the quiz, finishing with 29 points and powering forward into the next round. It's the Discotex. Very well done. Debuggers, you finish on 11. Not such a flame-throwing round for you this time, but you have been a great team. It was lovely to meet you all. Thank you very much for playing, and thank you for watching. Coming up next, it's a new show in which the multi-talented Michael Portillo turns impressionist and is kicking off with a magnificent recreation of the Prime Minister, so we could all look forward to seeing Michael Portillo's uncanny Johnson next on BBC Two. <laughs>